Well, hello there, and thank you once again for tuning in. Uh, welcome to Waypoints Aviation. We're in our Airbus A320 flight simulator, and uh, we're just um, getting ready to give you another video. Uh, do apologize that it's uh, it's been a while since we uh, since we uploaded uh, the last one, and the main reason is we've just been just pretty busy here. Uh, no excuses and we promise we're gonna work really hard to, to keep those videos coming. So many of you have uh, reached out to us and liked and subscribed and commented and we really appreciate it so much. And um, as usual, if you like this video, please give it a, a, a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, it's free. And, um, and and if you find this video helps you or is useful to a friend of yours, just share it with them by all means. So today I want to do a secondary flight plan tutorial. It was actually requested by a subscriber and uh, what I want to do is I want to just show you how to do a secondary flight plan. So if you, ha if you do not know how to program the MCDU, prepare it for departure uh, for a flight, um, I will link the video in the description below. You can watch that and that's gonna help you out in learning how to program the MCDU from, from scratch all the way to completion. Now, the, the main concern we have today is how do we program a secondary flight plan and how do we use it? Um, there's many uses for it or there's a couple uses for it. One is you could use it to program um, like if you're going from one airport to another airport and then from that airport to another airport, you could just program the onward journey into the secondary flight plan. Um, but the way I like to use it, I like to use the, way, the secondary flight plan as a ways and means to get back to the airport I just took off from. Obviously, uh, safety is, is, a, is a major concern for us, right? So let's just say we take off and something goes wrong. Um, we lose an engine or some technical failure happens. Um, maybe a passenger falls sick, you know, immediately after takeoff and uh, gets critically ill and we need to come back. Instead of diverting to another airport, I would rather come back here since I'm nearby. And uh, we've got good maintenance facility here in Dubai. They've got uh, good facilities at the airport. So I would rather bring that passenger back here and, um, you know, make sure, uh, make sure everything's okay for them right here so what I want to do is I want to get the secondary flight plan going so I've already programmed my flight plan to uh, to musket all right the whole flight plan is in there so what you do is you come to secondary flight plan and you go copy active now that's gonna copy the same flight plan that you have in the primary one Okay, secondary flight plan and the primary flight plan are all the same right now because we just made an active copy. But since it's the same, it doesn't really do much for me, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to come back to Dubai. So what I wanna do is you wanna take any waypoint in the middle. To change it, you just have to take any waypoint in the middle. I'm gonna take Delta Bravo 570, for example. And in there, you're gonna find next waypoint and new destination so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go OMDB for Dubai put it there new destination and look at that now it's changed from what it used to say which was Oman Oscar Oscar Mike Sierra now it's OMDB Dubai so what I can do now is I can go into Dubai and I'm gonna put the active runway which is an ILS for 30 left no stars because I'll if I'm in emergency obviously they're gonna vector me back and if you go into your flight plan page or rather navigation screen you can see with the secondary flight plan selected over here there it is in white if I zoom in a little bit you can see that's my secondary flight plan bringing me back to Dubai and also in secondary flight plan it helps to come to secondary flight plan performance and you want to come here to the, the to the approach page and fill in all the information. Today's QNH is 1013, temperature is 28 degrees. Uh, the winds are 268 at 4 knots today. And I'm going to check the um, I'm going to check the charts and I'm going to insert the barrel uh, the minimums over there. 
So, but for now, that's pretty much all I need to do for the secondary flight plan. So it's programmed, ready to bring me back to Dubai whenever, if I need to. But for now, we're just gonna take off and head out towards Oman. All right, so I'm just gonna perform the takeoff here and I'll get back to you once I'm airborne. A few moments later. Alrighty, so here we are. We're, um, we're cruising currently at uh, 9,000 feet. Uh, right over the beautiful city of Dubai and we're following the SID outbound uh, on our way to Oman so basically um, just as uh, as foretold uh, before takeoff um, I've just been informed that we've got a we've got a very very sick passenger on board and uh, this person is gonna need um, some medical te attention very very quickly so we uh, so role playing now we we assume we we contacted dubai we told them about our situation we did come down here and check our our landing weight which is uh well below the maximum landing weight of the aircraft so we don't have to do any special checklists for overweight landing we can just straight away go and land the aircraft and dubai airport is right over there so what i'm gonna do now is um, I'm going to request air traffic control to let me maintain a heading uh, which is a general downwind heading of, uh, of Dubai and I'm going to descend down to minimum so let's assume they've given me that uh, the permission to do so so I'm going to go head in and headings confirmed over there I'm going to go one two zero degrees on the heading which is nicely parallel to the runway and I'm going to start a descent down to 4,000 feet and there we go, we got trust idle open descent, 4000 blue, we're still on the QNH of 1013, aircraft's descending. So now I'll hand over control to my first officer, who's non-existent, um, but he has control. And what I wanna do is I wanna program in the return back to Dubai. So before takeoff, we took all this into consideration and what we did was we went to secondary flight plan, we did a copy active and then we changed it to come back to Dubai. Now, Dubai has informed us that the runway in use is 30 left and it is an ILS. So if we go in there and select the arrival, we can confirm it's an ILS 30 left with no stars. We're going to be vectored back to the runway. And with secondary flight plan on display on the MCDU, you can come here and there you go. If I go to nav, give us a nice little 360 view, that's us heading 120 degrees and this is the runway over at this is 30 left in Dubai airport and those are our waypoints associated with that approach so it's in there so what I can do now is I can basically go to secondary flight plan and because I'm sure I'm not going to continue on to to mask it I'm going to divert now and come back to Dubai so what I'm gonna do now is uh, by the way does the first office agree he does He's not there but he agreed he agrees so activate secondary flight plan and now if you come back to the primary flight plan you'll see we're no longer going to mask it that flight plan which is which was programmed to come back to Dubai is now the active flight plan now we need to clean this up because we're gonna get vectors so right now it says 11 miles but we're not 11 miles we still have a bit ways to go but that's because we still have a bit waypoints in there so you need to clean it up and you can clean up the waypoints by means of what we call sequencing what i want to do is i want to sequence the waypoints associated as the next waypoint that we're going to fly to all right so the first waypoint we're going to fly into is setpo and as you can see, setpo is right here on our charts. We got setpo, and then we're going down to modus, and then we're gonna, that's the final approach fix, and then we start our descent. So what we wanna do is, I wanna keep setpo as the next waypoint. So easiest way to do that is to come to the direct to page, find setpo. Now, if I select setpo from the direct to, the aircraft is gonna want to create a track to go there immediately but I don't want to do that I just want to keep it there as the next waypoint but I don't want to go there right now I haven't been cleared to turn just yet so instead of just pushing insert and having the aircraft immediately go to nav mode and turn us there 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an inbound radial of 119 degrees onto radial end and as you can see now what it does is it extends the center line from the runway through said pole that's what I want so I'm doing the opposite direction of the runway the runway is 299 -er. the other side of the, the the other side of it would be 119 so that's what I put in the radial end and now I'm going to insert and to make sure see nav goes into standby to make sure the aircraft doesn't for whatever reason jump to nav and take me there I'm just going to pull the head in again and then the little dot disappears and the nav on standby disappears as well so now if you look at the waypoint now it's accurate the actual distance is going to be 20 track miles to Dubai from where we are right now and I can uh, now come to performance and since I programmed all this stuff in uh, before takeoff it's already in there I can confirm that all these parameters are still the same the QNH is correct the temperature the wind is correct what's missing is the minimums so looking at the charts the minimums is 260 260 so I'm gonna put 260 in there 260 shows up on the barrel and now the minimums are programmed in everything is done all we have to do now is come to performance activate the approach phase and we can basically assume we've been cleared to turn left 90 degrees towards the runway or towards uh, set pole I'm gonna put us on a intercept heading off heading north right now which is going to take us directly towards set pole. I'm gonna get the ILS going. We're gonna complete our checklist, the approach checklist, and we're gonna use auto brake slow for our landing. And uh, brief the first officer now, the non-existent one, and uh, basically perform this approach. So that's how you use the secondary flight plan to make an immediate return and do a quick reprogramming of your landing system so i'm taking control back and i'm gonna land this baby back in dubai get the passenger uh, the medical assistance they need so if you found this useful um just want to say thank you again for watching and um yeah please uh, please like subscribe to and um and share the video uh, if you found it helpful and useful and stay tuned for more videos coming soon thank you so much and you guys have a wonderful day